Hey everyone, it's Jason from Rockland Technologies and today we've got another Wi-Fi 6E speed test video for you. We're going to be testing out the Alpha AWUS036 AXML Wi-Fi 6E USB adapter, but this time we're going to be using the ASUS Rogue Capture AXE11000 router. In our previous test we used a TP-Link 5400 and we've got two objectives today, but before I get to those objectives I do want to tell you we're doing a major giveaway. We're going to be giving away the same ASUS Rogue Capture router that we used in this video along with than Alpha AWUS036 AXML. So be sure to check out the description uh, for full details on how to enter and also make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can get entered. Those are two of the requirements. But getting back to the purpose of the video, we've got two objectives today. One is to see if the additional spatial streams of the ASUS router, uh, more bandwidth, more pipeline, is going to allow us to have a better overall speed performance compared to the TP-Link. And then the other thing that we're going to be checking out is to see if if we get more benefit on the six gigahertz band if you'll recall from our tp link video we couldn't really get six gigahertz performance outside of the same or next room of the router so we're looking to see uh, does this asus router kick that six gigahertz signal out further now if you'd like more information about the different routers we're using in our speed test series be sure to check our youtube channel we have a video up with gabriel shapiro where he goes over the three main routers we use for our wi-fi 6e testing but without further ado let's get on to today's test. We're going to use Google speed test today, uh, but before we begin, we want to look at some of our connection properties just to make sure we're on the correct band. So we're going to pull up our onboard Wi-Fi card here and we're going to click here to see the properties for our connection. Now you'll see that it tells us even though this is a dual band 5 gigahertz connection, we're on the 802.11ac Wi-Fi 5 protocol with our internal card with an 866 megabit per second link rate. So this information will come in handy later when we compare uh, to the alpha performance. But for now, we're going to go ahead and click on Run Speed Test and take a look at see and see what our Lenovo onboard Wi-Fi card can do with this ASUS Rogue Capture router. Now generally I would recommend running at least three or four speed tests in a row so we can rule out any anomalies uh, for purposes of brevity. We're going to run back to back tests here and just get a good idea of what our onboard card is doing. And you'll see overall we're coming in around the high 200s, low 300s for download. And we've got similar upload speed here with our Lenovo card on the 5 gigahertz connection. Now, we're going to go and look at our connection properties here. We're going to make sure our built-in card's not connected to any networks, and we're going to go back to the Wi-Fi 3 and click on the properties here. It's just so we can compare how it connects versus our built-in card. Uh, even though we're also on the 5 gigahertz band, you'll notice we're on the Wi-Fi 6 protocol now, 802.11ax. So we're not on the 6 gigahertz band yet. We're on Wi-Fi uh, wi 6 uh, on the 5 gigahertz channel. And you'll notice our link speed is 1,201 megabits per second. So about 350 more than the built-in card to the same 5 gigahertz network. So we'll pull back up our speed test browser here and we're gonna run a test and immediately we see much faster results using the alpha uh, AXML here on the 5 gigahertz band in the same room. Now, remember, we're still testing with 5 gigahertz. We haven't started our 6 gigahertz test yet. It just goes to show you that with Wi-Fi 6E, you still have the advantages of Wi-Fi 6, which gives you even better performance than older dual band Wi-Fi cards, which were only capable of up to Wi-Fi 5. So you're seeing a really nice boost in performance here in both the upload and the download speed. And just like we did with our onboard test, we're going to uh, redo that test a second time just just to check for any anomalies and you'll see it's even faster this time around so really good performance from the alpha adapter on this test so now we're going to connect our alpha adapter to the six gigahertz frequency to see how well it performs we'll go ahead and join here and then once we're connected, we're going to go back up and uh, make sure that our built-in card did not join a network and then go back to the alpha here. Now we're just going to click on the properties to compare uh, how it was. You'll notice that even though we're connected on uh, the 5 gigahertz band, we're on the Wi-Fi 6 
802.11 AX protocol this time, and we're on the 6 gigahertz band. So we've got the same 1200 bit rate that we had with our 5 gigahertz test, but we are on the 6 gigahertz band. We're gonna find out if that makes any difference here with our ASUS router. So we'll close that down. We're gonna bring our Google speed test back up, and here we go. And we're getting very similar speeds um, to what we got with the five gigahertz uh, test on the alpha side. So definitely a lot better than the Lenovo built-in card, uh, but for six gigahertz, we don't really see a ton of difference. That's likely because we're topped out uh, when it comes to our ISP here. Um, also keep in mind that routers like the ASUS uh, Rode Capture are more ideal with their multi-spatial streams if you have a lot of traffic and users on the network at once. Since we're uh, the only user on this network, we're not able to take advantage of the full capabilities of the router. If you have a a gamer in your home or a streamer uh, you might see better performance on the 6 gigahertz band than you would the 5 or 2.4 gigahertz bands with this ASUS router compared to say the TP-Link or uh, generation with less uh, spatial streams. So now we're out in our uh, kitchen area, about three rooms for the router. We're gonna join with our internal Lenovo card, the five gigahertz network, and we're gonna go check our connection properties. We don't really see any difference from the properties when we were in the room with the router. We're on 802.11ac protocol, 866 bit rate, so everything's the same there. Let's see how our performance tests go. And you'll notice we do see some slowdown. We were pushing 300 megabits per second when we were in the same room as the router. Now that we're three rooms away, we're dropping down to about 250 using the built-in card. Not a bad drop-off by any means, uh, but definitely a noticeable drop-off we've, as we've gotten a little bit of distance from the router. So we'll run our test a second time. And this one seems to be a little bit slower than our first test, but we're still coming in in the mid 200s uh, for our downstream. So a little bit of drop off there uh, from three rooms away, but still fairly solid speed uh, for our Lenovo built-in car. Let's switch on over to the Alpha and see how it handles five gigahertz from three rooms away. So here we are with our fifth test of the day. We're gonna check out the five gigahertz connection on our Alpha AXML from three rooms away. Uh, pull our browser up and run speed test and immediately we see it's almost twice as fast as the Lenovo card at this distance. So while the, they were a little bit more comparable in the same room, we can really see the range difference of the Alpha adapter coming into play here. 500 megabits per second download, even three long rooms from the router almost on the other side of the house. Much better performance there. We'll run our second test and we can see that the performance is just definitely better on the 5 gigahertz band with the Alpha adapter. Now this was our fifth and final test today. We did try a six gigahertz test from three rooms away, uh, but we were only getting one bar to our uh, to our ASUS router. So even with the additional spatial streams, the ASUS router, like the T-Pink, they just don't broadcast far enough on the six gigahertz band. Uh, as the frequency gets higher, the range does drop down uh, considerably. That's why 2.4 gigahertz remains the longest range band of all three, but it also has the slowest speeds. The lower the frequency, the greater the distance, but the slower the speeds. The higher the frequency, the better the speeds, but the shorter the distance. So we got really good performance on five gigahertz out of the ASUS router and the Alpha adapter, but with six gigahertz, we just couldn't check past that one to two room range. That's all for today's test. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, as we announced at the beginning of the video, we are giving away the ASUS Rode Capture router that was featured in our video today, as well as a brand new Alpha AWS 036 AXML. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and go to the link on your screen right now to get officially signed up for a chance to win.